Hello, Taurus. Hello to all of the Tauruses out there. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. I'm going to be doing your reading for the week of April 12th through April 18th. Let me show for these one more time. I'm going to be doing um, your reading again for April 12th through April 18th. This reading is for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I am going to begin your reading. Spirit, what is the current energy for the sign of Taurus? Oh, okay. The Fool. The Fool could be done with an Aries or an Aquarius. What is influencing this energy? The High Priestess could be dealing with a Cancer. What is the past energy for the sign of Taurus? What is the past energy for the sign of Taurus? That's too many cards. But I'm going to take this one, which is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Here's the immediate pace energy for the sign of Taurus. Here's the immediate. These cards are jumping. All right, that was too many cards that came out at one time. Okay, here we go. Justice could have a Libra in your environment or have Libra in your chart. What are your crowning thoughts? Okay. Spirit. What are the crowning thoughts for the sign of Taurus? Oh, that one wanted to come out so bad. Jumped out on the floor. Mm -hmm. The Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. What are your future? What is the future energy for the sign of Taurus? What is the future energy for the sign of Taurus? Okay. The the Empress could be done with an Aries or you could have Aries in your chart. And I see Aries here twice with the Fool and the um, Empress card. You fear the Nine of Wands. How do others see you at this time, Taurus? How do others see you at this time, Taurus? The lovers? Okay. All right. What are you hoping for, Taurus? What are you hoping for? Okay. These cards, at first... <laughs> At first, they weren't coming out, but now they're jumping. But I have the Knight of Wands. You're hoping for, for your hopes, the Knight of Wands. And what is the outcome for the sign of Taurus? What is the outcome? Okay. The... The two of cups. 
and you have the judgment card at the bottom of the deck. Or you could be dealing with a Scorpio or have a Scorpio in your environment. All right, so let's start. So Taurus, you could be currently juggling things, have multiple things to do. You could be on a new journey and don't know what to expect. What's influencing this energy is the high priestess. So this could be um, your imagination or you could be using your intuition during this time. In the past with the queen of wands, you could have been a busybody in the past. And um, could have, and maybe that's why the fool is there. You could have been um, really busy in the past. And maybe it led to you, or you needed to have, you need it to balance out your life or balance out a situation because you maybe you were doing too much of something in the past and you know you needed to balance it out balance out your life balance out a situation but it, in your immediate past you balanced out the situation so right now You put in some effort and you begin once this this balance brought in success with the three of pentacles. With the three of pentacles. Or you were busy. And you could have been blinded. Because maybe that's why that intuition card is there with the high priestess. So, Taurus, you could be on a journey. Or you could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius with this food card. So, you could be juggling things. Or you could be on a journey... And you may not know where it's going. And you're using your intuition with the high priestess card. Because in the past, you were taking action in this situation. And maybe you or the person you were dealing with were like really, really busy. And you needed to balance, and you needed to balance out the situation with the justice card. And it led to success with the three of pentacles. And a future with the Empress Emperor Empress card. And you could have Aries in your chart. Because the fool is represents Aquarius and Aries. Because it's the fool is um under Uranus. But anyway, with the Empress, you could you could be nurturing the situation. What you fear is that you're going to be putting in too much work, and then this this work that you or the person is putting in, or you could be fearing that you're putting in too much work. But either way, the work you fear that the work you're putting in is going to cause you to feel overwhelmed. But others are seeing you as the lovers. Or you could have a Gemini around you. But with the lovers card, others are seeing you as um being loving at this time. So you could be working hard. To nurture the situation, and maybe that's why others are seeing you as being a loving person at this time. With the Knight of Wands, you or someone could have like an in and out energy. Like maybe um, they come and go, maybe their energy is on and off, and you don't know what to do. 
or maybe you're hoping. Let's see why that knight of that knight of wands there. Or maybe, because someone is seeing you as being loving at this time, and you're hoping. Let's let's maybe you're hoping that someone. Let's find out why that knight of wands is there. Let's see. Spirit rock. Oh. Enter the card. <laughs> Why is that Knight of Wands there? Why well, I, I seen the Ace of Wands. So maybe someone wants the other person to move in quickly for a passionate encounter. <laughs> Why is that um That was too many cards. Why is that Knight of Wands there? What a sign of Taurus. Okay. So. The Three of Cups. So maybe someone. You Taurus could want. This person. To come in to celebrate. With you. You could want someone to celebrate with you, to have maybe like a happy, a happy time with you. And you want them to come in with this energy quickly. And there's a possibility that they will because the outcome is the two of cups. The outcome is the two of cups. So that's an accomplishment. A partnership that's you and the other person because these two people are, are parallel to each other so you and your partner could be working together to nurture this situation so let's get your love oracle cards sorry let's get your your love oracle card spirit so, uh, can i have a love oracle card for the sign of taurus thank you Lighting. It says sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So maybe there's some type of transformation taking place in your relationship. Spirit, can I have a love oracle card for the sign of Pisces? I'm sorry, you could be done with a Pisces, but for the sign of Taurus, we have date. So maybe that's part of this, um, this hard work or this nurturing. That you're putting in meeting someone new dating get back out there playing set a date one more love oracle card for the sign of taurus one more love oracle card for the sign of taurus Mm -hmm. X, breakup, separation, stop, silent treatment, abandonment. So maybe that's what was going on in the past, and maybe that's why balance needed to be, um, you needed to balance out the situation. That could have been something of the past, because at the bottom of the deck, you have coffee cup. I look at coffee cup as the night after, and it reads meeting and conversing, um, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. So maybe that's why that, um, that Empress card is there. You needed to balance out your, um, situation. Get back to the good, the root of things. All right, Taurus, that's your reading. I hope this reading resonates with your situation. If so, share this video. Hit the like button so others can see. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Be safe. I'm sending light, love, peace, healing energy into the world at this time. Well, not at this time, at all times. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.